All right, well, it's been a couple days. I am going to put these up there and drill the hole from the back side so it's perfectly aligned. I'm make it a quarter inch hole and put my clamps in and adjust my brakes and hopefully bleed them up. I still need to make some kind of a reservoir that can go into that thing right there. Um, I thought about like an aluminum lighter, uh, flashlight tube, or uh, something, something just to hold a cup full of juice, you know what I mean? But um, the horns are in place, I like it. I'm gonna see if I can get the other one working, but I don't think, uh, someone had mentioned that there should be like two different tones. One's really high, one's really deep, so when they're together, they're nasty. I think this is the one with the high tongues. That's pretty friggin' loud. But I'm going to adjust my brand new brake shoes up, and my recently cut drums, and my new brake lines, my new master cylinder, and my homemade pedal assembly. That whole thing is homemade off the top of my head. Only because I drove one for a few years, I know what it needs, and I know my Volkswagen pot's pretty good too. Because I've had plenty of them. I think this is my 15th. Yeah, I think this is the 15th. I, I counted one day. I don't remember. Anyway, let's get adjusting some brakes. Get these drums off. First thing I did was put some uh, high heat on the inside because this was all sandblasted bare. And, I mean, I stayed away from the edge the best I could. I wasn't going to mask it up or nothing. It ain't going to hurt it any. It's going to burn that off the first time you touch it. And I put some in the groove around the outside here because that was all bare and blasted and but there's a little Volkswagen logo. The fronts, I'll do them when they're on. Well, I adjusted them up, and I can hear them moving around in there when I hit the pedal, but I'm not getting any juice. I did get a little bit of juice over here, but it seemed to have run out. And what I'm finding is that the uh, the tube I was using, wherever I put the damn thing, um, kind of didn't make a good seal in there. So I found a better piece, and I flipped the rubber over, and it's in there nice and tight now. And I got a wire tied, so it can't move. Somebody texted me. Um, this is quarter-inch hose. And I'm going to wire tight good, and I'm going to make a reservoir of some kind. Now, over here, this is the tiny air tank to a the police seat that I have over in the corner there. See it? This is the air tank to the airbag of which is... I don't know where it is. I've just seen it. Right here. This is the airbag for the seat. Am I going to use it? No. Better ideas. Um, I was thinking this would make a good reservoir if I could put it somewhere where it would be accessible. Um, it's easier to convert this down a quarter inch. So I'm going to take all this crap off and let me see what I can do here. On the other side, it's just a dome. Now I'm thinking if I could drill a half decent sized hole and put a rubber cork in it, that's about all I'd need. I just have to be able to mount it somewhere. Like, you know, somewhere on the frame here. Maybe this side, maybe this side, I don't know. Wherever it's, wherever it's not in the way. Because I have plenty of room up there. And this thing isn't that big. And it's a sealed container, so that's what I'm shooting for. So I'm going to pull this gauge off and uh, go from there. Well, I used the uh, cutter wheel, which is down to nothing, and uh, put that bracket off. What the hell do we do with that bracket? There it is. Peel that piece of crap off. Um, I was concerned if it was going to leak or not, so for the heck of it, I stuck the Schrader valve in there. 
and there's a hundred pounds of air in this little bunker right now so there's no holes in it I can probably prove it pretty quick that was a hundred pounds of air in that thing I think this will make a great tank let's figure out where to put it hmm Maybe up here, maybe down here. I have to look at the body and see where it flares out so I don't go too far down. If I go too far down, it's not going to fit anywhere. But I was looking for a 1 8 inch NPT to quarter inch, and it was right in front of my face. The little barb fella that I got this hose from is one of those clip on, uh, clip on and fill your tire type things. On the back side of it is a 1 8 inch NPT to a quarter inch line. So that should actually screw in here pretty pretty good. That wasn't a lefty. Woo, look at that. Goes right in. We just gotta put a little tape on that puppy. But um, I wire tied it here because uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. I measured and I need something like 15 and a half inches from this hole all the way up to here and it just kinda clears it. This is where the neck of the body gets thin and then it spreads out but I've also got a speedometer hole there so who knows what I'm going to do with that thing but uh, either way I think it's going to be mounted like this so maybe I'll punch a hole in the top or the end but I don't want to punch a hole in anything until I know it's going to fit I'm going to need a longer hose of course I mean this this connection is perfect now I've got quarter inch hose but this is just you know like air hose stuff if I had more of it I would have used it but I don't have anything in quarter inch and I'd like to get something that already has a bend to it, if possible. But uh, I thought that was a cool idea. That tank fits, we're going to use it. Of course, if anybody would have some hose, my neighbor Don would have some hose. This is uh, 732nd. Fits a lot better anyway, especially on this thing. It's actually the nipple, uh, what do you call it, the uh, the barbed end of a, a, the nipple of a blowgun. Um, that's all I could think it is. But it fits good in that rubber and it holds in tight and I put the rubber in backwards because it's kind of conical shaped so I reversed it so it expands it and kind of catches it in there. And the reservoir is up, and I have my hole, and that hole is 5 eighths. Yeah, it's 5 eighths. So i got to find some kind of a plug or a cork or whatever, leave some kind of little vent too. But look at this way, if anything drips off it, it's just going to drip on the ground. Now comes the moment of truth. Will it leak? <laughs> I don't have any more brake fluid. I ran out. AutoZone. Fucking thing. What I like is this hose is so soft that it does not fight the angle of which this harder rubber piece wants to plug into the master cylinder. Therefore, it makes a nice seal and I don't have to worry about it moving and... Uh, Everything is so bright, I can't see. Freaking sun is right there every day when I get home from work. Enough to cook you to the point you don't want to be out here. But what a nice shot, you know? I got my little funnel here. Put that back where it goes. Why it goes up here, I don't know, but I never find the damn things anyway. There you go. So, yeah, sun is right there. Gotta dump that trail. A bunch of trash on it from my mother-in-law's house. But uh, I hope this works because I mean, uh, pretty good spot. I might have to back it up a little, but I have no idea right now. 
I think it was, um, I think I needed 17 inches to get it up and then it, up here and then it spread out and then came back in real tight near the neck. So cross your fingers. This black line is where the neck went and it tapers in a little but then it goes way out so I might be lucky. Or that isn't going to fit at all and I'm just going to have to rip the thing off and find something else, you know. But for free, right now, it's a good bleeder. I'm going to pump the brakes. But I don't have enough brake fluid to even know what's in there. There's only a very little. Uh, I think I'm going to buy or borrow that vacuum tool so I can just pump the things down from... You pop it on here and just suck the brake fluid down. You know what I'm saying? This one I can crack. Alright, have a good day. and Thanks for watching. Um, way, way, way back I had drilled these out when the body was on the thing. And these are actually two additional body mounts that I made. What I'm going to do is flip over some uh, washer nuts. Sort of like this. This one's close. These are 9 sixteenths. I'm going to flip these over and make that hole bigger. And sink these in there and weld them in. And then on the frame I have a piece of angle iron that goes right across the front here. And it's just another hole so I can grab it here here, here, and anywhere else I can grab it. So instead of having four mounts, I'm going to have six. Oh, grab I need to dry it. I need shocks. Ah, I don't have any shocks. Oh, shoot. I think I need spacers to go in there, too. Oh, I need axles. Ooh. Oh, another day. Well, I can give you one guess of what we have. Let's try it from the driver's seat. Oh yeah, we have brakes. Goes about mm, four inches, starts to bite. Now, being a Volkswagen, this thing has a built-in check valve. The only problem is for the fluid to back up into the reservoir to keep the 10 psi on this thing, it has to completely come all the way back. So you got to leave a little slack on this rod. Just a little bit. I mean, the thing sticks down in a hole about an inch and a half, but there's got to be slack so you know that that piston comes all the way back up so the residual pressure can be released, but it still holds the 10 on the brake line. Um, I wasn't getting anything pumping the brakes, and then I realized this thing was so tight in there that it had no breathing room, so if I tighten this back up, it's not going to work. i got to get a jam nut for this. It's a funny thread. It's like 14, 14 millimeter nut. The only one I had is, of course, right there. This is an adapter we had at Rich's house. This is a piece of rod from Home Depot that I threaded. Um, I put bigger washers on here at Red Lartite because the last thing I want is the pedal assembly to fall off. And just a big fender washer. There's no real side load pressure, but it's better than what I had there, which was a smaller washer that didn't really cut it. So I've got a little play here, and that's intentional. I might put a washer on this. But... That's another one, it's all side load. This thing is cast steel. And the only thing that really holds it on that clip, but normally it has a spring here too, but I don't have that spring. This is a, this is, again, this is a hacked pin out of a uh, pedal assembly. Did I don't remember how many videos ago, but I took that pin, put it into this bracket. I took the hockey stick, this is the hockey stick from another transmission. And what the hell else did I use? Oh, the stock, uh, what do you call it, the stock cable with a clutch, welded to a thing that lets you crimp it. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't think one screw is going to handle the weight of the clutch, and I don't want the clutch cable pop, popping out, so I might have to come up with something, make, come up with something different. Yeah, we got brakes, and I can feel them clicking in the back, and it responds right there. Awesome. It's about time.
Now I'm standing here thinking about uh, rubber plug. What do I have for a rubber plug? And I look up on the shelf and this was sitting there. I have no idea what it goes to, but I remember putting it up there saying I'm going to use that someday. And it's a little too small for the hole. It actually fits perfect in the hole, too perfect. It wants to fall in. So what I did is I pushed a couple of quarter twenty nuts inside of it to expand it and I pushed them all the way to the bottom. And guess what? I have a cap. And it fits good. I think I have to take one of them out though. Yeah, I think I gotta take one out. It'll be a perfect fit. So put the quarter twenty nut back in the hole here, like that. I like my gloves. And put it in the vise. Okay, pull one of them out. So there's only one nut in there now. Let's try it now. Oop, goes in good. Oop, tight seal. Look at that. That's awesome. This wasn't even made for that. <laughs> that is awesome. And it just comes out. A little bit of a fight. That's good. Hmm. Incredible. The things I save. Oh yeah, I was showing you where I'd like to put the horns, which I thought, let me get my screwdriver, what did I do with it? Let me get this out for a minute. I'm going to crack it loose a little. Okay, I thought this looked cool, say, you know, here. Here's the problem. Crush. So, okay, maybe it'll look better here. And the wires point straight up for the connection, so that's, that's not going to hurt anybody. Almost hits it. Oop, does hit it. Pushes it out of the way and shoves it back a little. Here's the thing, there's no reason my steering should go even close to being turning that far. All you're going to do is go straight when it reaches a, beat, a certain point of which I think it's 45 degrees. Anything beyond that and it's just going to slide sideways. It's kind of scary like that. But I mean, there's no reason that this plate should go any more than with this one straight with the frame. So, the straightness of the frame should be straight with that. Whatever gap is in there, i got to put something there like a... Uh, I don't know, one inch bumper or piece of steel or I'm going to see what I got in my little junk tray over here. If I can get the wheel to stay straight without smacking my horn. And I'll turn the other one down so it doesn't destroy it. Ugh. So I'd like both the horns to be about right there. These are the little Honda beep beep horns. And they're pretty much hidden under the frame. This one's got to come forward a little because I have a pedal in the way. Not too bad, so... Yeah, if I want it to work, it's got to be about right there for them to be a match set. It's going to scare the shit out of you. So, let me check my little junk bin here. I have all kinds of stuff. It's my wheel adapters. I got these nuts, even though they don't work. I got them brand new in the package the other day. All, I think it was eight of them for ten bucks, but they're the wrong ones. Put my tire gauge back. An old coat. Ooh, I like that spring. I need a nice beefy spring for my brake pedal to make sure that it pulls back. I don't want to rely on just the master cylinder, so this this might do that trick. Got some nice threaded rod. Ooh, never know. What was I looking for? Bumpers, some kind of bumpers. You know, if I had two of these, I don't know what this is. Looks like a I think it's a foot to a meat slicer or something to that effect. And you know what? That's either standard or metric. If I have two of those, I might actually use that. I don't think I do. Ah. Don't think I have two of these, but that is a good idea. I might have some of those other styles. Foot switch. Never know what you need that for. What do we got? What's this? An expandable plug for like a uh, freeze plug. Well, it's a good idea, but I don't think it's going to work. Well, I got a nice beefy spring out of it. How beefy it is, I'm going to have to test. I did have a rubber foot here, and that thing's about uh, half an inch, three quarters of an inch thick. It's pretty big. Um, 
if I can find another one, I'll use it. So I'll keep my eyes open, because this bin is also full of stuff, including a vacuum trico motor, which I have no use for. Um, it's got to be something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Alright, I'm going to look in here for a while. Well, this is the rubber foot to a meat slicer, and it appears I only have one. Or it's a foot on like, you know, like a table like that or something, and I only have one. <laughs> Um, that's not quarter twenty. I'm thinking normally when you get a motorcycle, it has uh, the tank slides on these two rubbers up here that are in each side of the frame on this side, and the tank slides onto that. And then there's just a bolt like this one that holds it down in there. If I could find two of those, if I even have any, but uh, give me some ideas. What do you think I could use besides this? If I could ever find another one of these tank rubbers. Um, bump stop for something. I don't know what, but I've been digging through this and there's just nothing really rubber in here. It's all hardware. And if it is rubber, it's nothing useful. I'll just have to go to the store and find something. Alright, so I'm messing around. I made a ground and a jumper. One to the other. And I'm going to connect them to the battery tester. Battery charger. Just to scare the hell out of you. Ready for this? Holy crap, it's loud with two of them. No, I knew I had a use for this little extra tubing that was on the exercise equipment. This is a brake spring. I believe it's the top. And it's a little hole here to hold it. And a little hole there to hold it. So now I don't have as much play. It's play in the rod, but no play in the pedal. Have a good night.